Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a few bits that I got from AliExpress. But most of these things are bikinis, and then I have got some... <sighs> Why do I get out of breath from doing these? I don't understand. Does anyone else get that, or is it just me? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna be filming a few bits that I've got from AliExpress. Um, now, I always, every year, buy some bikinis from AliExpress. Um, and if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically a China website where they sell like, what do you call it, like fake branded clothes kind of thing. Um, but they also sell like non-branded stuff. But yeah, they just basically sell loads of things at a ridiculously cheaper price um, than you would in your, I guess, like local stores. Um, so for example, bikinis are literally like £7 for top and bottom, whereas normally for both, you'd be paying like 20 to 40 quid max maybe. So the things that I'm gonna be showing you, I haven't tried on yet, so they're my complete honest thoughts and opinions on them. Um, I'm looking forward to trying them on because I've literally had all these things for about a week now but I've not had a chance to film. Um, so I'm filming today and I finally get to try my new bikinis. Boop. I shall stop talking now and we shall roll on to the video. Sometimes I question if I actually go to the gym because I actually can't rip any of these labels off. Why am I so weak? I ripped the paper bit off, but... Got it. Okay, so first up is this little cute tie front yellow bikini. Um, this one said it was from Zayful, but obviously I bought it on AliExpress, so I think that they sell um, things like that on there. But yeah, this is in a size small. I think the size small was the smallest option they had which is why I went for it, but either way, if it's really great. Um, you can undo this and retie it yourself. As I was putting it on, it untied and it just went like this. So I was like, oh, it's broke. But it was, it's fine. You literally tie it up yourself. Um, you do have to double knot it though. Um, but yeah, it's very, very cute. I decided to get this color in yellow because I freaking love the color yellow. And at the back, you have the little um, rutched bum bit. So it's more like a fong bikini rather than a but like a brief so yeah super cute i really really like it So the only bad thing about this one is you can see a bit of the padding through the bikini. Um, what I normally do with those is I normally take them out and just let the nips free. I don't care about the nips anymore, just let them free. I just have a feeling that if it gets wet you will see them a bit more. Um, but either way, um, I'd still wear this bikini. I still really, really like it. The quality, the feel of the material is really, really good. Like for about seven pounds, you cannot fold it really. So. I will 100% wear them. Okay, I don't know if you're ready for this one. I am in love. I was nervous about ordering this one because I wasn't sure how it would turn out in person, but oh my gosh, I actually love it. This is the snake, is it snake print? I think it's snake print. This is the snake print bikini. Let's go with snake print. What do y'all think? So again, material is great. It's got some padding in there and you can kind of like adjust it depending on how big you want your boobs to look, um, which is very, very good. This one just has a clip at the back. I don't think you can actually alter this. And this one I got in a size small. Oh my God, I've just eaten if you're wondering why I'm so bloated. Put that food baby. Right, as I'm filming this, I'm really, really nervous because I'm in Alex's house and there's windows literally of a business right in front of the window. So anyone could be watching me right now, but it's okay. Too late to stop now. This one also has um, the, um, what's it called, like the fong bottom. More of a fong bottom than the other one. Um, I do much prefer the bottoms on this one because I, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I find it almost impossible to find bottoms that actually really fit good and um, they're either too big or too small like it's almost impossible to find the right size um, but this one has actually nailed it so 
yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm really in love with this one. I cannot wait to wear it on holiday. Cannot wait. Right, so this one was a little bit risky for me to get. One, because I never ever go for this colour. As you can see, it's a really, really royal blue. Never worn this colour in my entire life, I don't think. Um, but not only that, I went for one that's a little bit more revealing. Um, but I wasn't sure how it was going to go because of my boobs. Because obviously they're fake, so I wasn't sure how it's going to turn out. So I went for the ones that are quite popular at the moment, that are very cut out here. I do really, really like it. The only downfall is my nipple is so close on the edge. And I know it's meant to be like that, but it's, it's too close on the edge that it's very risky to wear. So what I'll probably do with this one is wear body tape, uh, just to hold it in position. Now the bottoms are a little bit bigger than the others, um, but they still do fit nicely I guess. I'm not slating this bikini, but I do I do generally like it, but there's a few things that I could improve on obviously, but for the money, again, like seven quid, like I would buy loads of these for that amount of money. I got this one in, oh my god I'm so sorry. So sorry if you can see anything. This one I got in a size small. I feel like if I got an extra small, it would have been ridiculously small. Um, so I'm glad I went for that size. With all these, I'd suggest going with your um, your like usual size. Um, I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't size down, I guess. And on to the next one. I'm not really sure what this bikini vibe is going for. I'm gonna go with, it's like a sailory kind of vibe, I think. I wouldn't normally wear one of these bikinis but I thought I shall mix up a little bit. So this one's like a halter neck one. Um, I don't know if you know what I mean by like sailory vibes. It's like navy, red, and white. To me, that's sailory. I don't know about you, but yeah. I do really, I do really like it. And it's also got padding in, which every girl absolutely needs and loves. You get to play around with it. And yeah, again, the back is actually really flattering again. Um, and I would wear this. I will wear this. And this one. I also got in a size small. So the next bikini that I'm gonna show um, isn't from AliExpress, but I picked it up from Primark the other day and I really, really liked it. So I feel like it should make an appearance onto this video. Bear with and I shall get changed. This is the one from Primark and I was very impressed with it. I think I got this one in a size 8. Got it in a size 8, I think. I'm more than sure. I took the padding out of this. It originally did come with padding, um, but I found that because it's Primark um, and Primark tends to show the padding, as you guys probably know. Um, so I just took it out. Again, just let the nip free and I would rather my nips be shown instead of the annoying, horrible padding anyway. <laughs> Maybe another reason I got this bikini is one, I love orange. Who doesn't like orange? Two, you can wear this as a crop top. I already had a crop top like this after I brought it. I was like, I'm sure I have a top made exactly the same as this, but don't care. Still got it. Got another one. So this one, don't know if you're ready for this. This one isn't a bikini. It's a gym bag and it's basically a replica of Gymshark. And it is, when I say replica, it's basically the spitting of the Gymshark camo leggings. Here are the green camo leggings I got from AliExpress. These ones were 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Not 40, 50, 11. So no logo on these, literally just plain leggings. Basically the Gymshark leggings without the logo. It's not even see-through. How incredible is that? I think I'm gonna be buying loads more leggings from AliExpress. Um, because I just spent so much money on gym clothes, I ended up like getting rid of them anyway. Um, but these you actually can't go wrong with them. The quality is amazing, you've still got the high waistband, and um, you've still got the little rutch. So you call it rutch? I call it rutch. Rutched. Rutched it. On the bottom of the bum, which is extra flattering on the booty. I got the full length ones, 
I think they only do them in full length anyway, so. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? So good, you know, it's so, so stretchy, so much room. Um, I'm gonna try them on now because you guys need to see them right now because they are amazing. I personally like rolling them down because I don't really like them too high waisted. And as you can see, it's very nice and fitted, very tight. Normally you have with cheap leggings, very, very baggy fanny. No baggy fanny today, girls. The bottoms are also perfect length. They literally sit on your ankle. And I'm five foot, but if you want to, you could. They, they would fit a little bit longer. I've just pulled them up extra high. So I got these leggings in a size extra small, really love them. I'm gonna buy more pairs. I'm gonna buy more pairs if I haven't said that already. I'm definitely gonna buy more pairs. Honestly, I just can't get over how nice they are. So nice. So gorgeous. So with these, I will 100%, 100% get the link for you guys because I had so many responses from you guys on Instagram asking where they're from and to share the link. And I shall do that for you because I'm a nice gal. On to my last item. For today um they are literally neon pink i didn't realize how bright they were going to be with the sides you can tie them up however you want you can have the, the tighter you have them i guess the higher that they roll up and again you have the ruched bum at the back i don't know if you can see but again these are high-waisted also and i guess if you did want to wear them lower cut you could roll them down and they actually don't look too bad rolled down this pair of shorts i got in a size extra small and I probably would go with an extra small or I, I would probably recommend sizing down because the the room in them is it's very very roomy I guess I want to word it <laughs> and if you look closely you can see it's just not like a basic material um it's I don't know what you want to call these let's just call them lumpy bumpy shorts lumpy bumpy shorts let's just call them that wouldn't normally wear these kind of shorts um purely because they're not really my um I'm kind of like a seamless person. I, I don't like any patterns. I don't like any stitching on them. I literally just like plain stuff. Um, so yeah, these two items were completely different for me to get. And I'm actually really happy with them. I'm, I'm glad I got them. So that is the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. These videos are really fun to do. It's like doing show and tell when you're in nursery. Overall, I am really impressed with the items that I got from AliExpress. I was not expecting them to turn out that great. The shop was literally 50 quid. 50 quid for four bikinis. And I'm, you know what, I'm pretty sure I have one more to come, but I'm not sure. I just got so excited and really wanted to try them on, so I just started filming. If there is any more to come, because I can't remember, um, I will just edit into this video. Don't forget, I'm also gonna be sharing the links below of each item that I brought so you guys can check it out yourselves. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one.